So I imagine if you are a language teacher or even a teacher uh, of content or whatever it might be, you've probably heard of New ZLA or New Zella. Um, a few years ago, New Zella was totally free and you could set up a paid account if you wanted to, to track progress and assign uh, assignments and so on. Um, now, New Zella has switched over to more of a paid model for the content. However, the news articles are still free. So how does it work? So New Zella has different content areas. And so you can browse the content. And as you browse the content, um, you'll be given subjects and grade levels if you wanted to filter by it. So this is checking the facts about US birthright and citizenship. And it opened up in a new tab. But what's going to happen is that when you click on the article, you're going to be able to filter the article by Lexile level. Um, and you can adjust many, many different things about uh, the, the, uh, the article itself. In addition, there's also questions that are provided to go along the article. And all of these things can be translated in most cases. You'll notice down here that this is in uh, Espanol as well as English. Um, so really it depends on the article, but if you create a free account, um, you'll be able to access quite a few of these articles. And if you do a paid account, then you'll be able to access everything, including the actual content articles. And the real focus of New ZLA is to be able to make sure that you're providing articles that are lexiled based on a student's learning level, and also uh, it's translated. And then again, as I mentioned, you have the questions that can go along with the articles themselves. So there's quite a few features with New, Z New Zella or New ZLA. Um, it's important to, again, research the cost. Um, it can add up, I know, but the primary focus of the website, of course, is to help educators. And there is an awful lot of articles on here. All the articles and the translations are actually taken care of by humans, so you're not going to be dealing with a virtual translator. So that's pretty much it for NewsELA. Uh, NewsELA.com is the website. And if you have any questions, gbailey at swboces.org.